Hey, it's Aaron the Ho, and today we're going to take a look at the Optrix XD5's mounting system, which is this wonderful thing that I have on my chest, and we're going to see how it's going to stack up against other things like the GoPro mounting system. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? Dot CA. Now we're making this video because a similar case to the Optrix X-T5 is the Hit Case Pro. And both of them, we've got chest mounts for them. And so we want to do a comparison between the two to let you guys know which one we think is better or worst. These cases are actually pretty neat because they turn your iPhone 5 or 5S into an action camera. So you're able to put into places that you normally wouldn't take a smartphone. On paper, the Optrix X-T5 is one of the toughest cases that we've reviewed. On paper, it's shockproof up to 30 feet, as well as waterproof up to 30 feet. So that's pretty extreme. If you have an iPhone 5 or a 5S, you can plop it into this case and you can turn that instantly into an action camera, especially if you've got the iPhone 5S with the uh, 720p 120 frames per second slow motion video. We're gonna go through the features of the mount. We've got a regular standard mount with an adhesive 3M bottom to it, as well as this chest mount. And this chest mount was actually given to us by Optrix to review, so thank you Optrix very much for that. And then we're gonna talk about whether or not these custom mounts made by Optrix are actually a cash grab or is there an actual reason for them. For the X-D5, everything mounts to the rail that is found on the back of the case. This rail comes off approximately a quarter inch off the back, so it does protrude out quite a bit. Mounting your case is fairly straightforward, not that simple, but it's straightforward as you slide the rail into any of the X-D5 accessories. It takes a bit of effort to slide it in and out, and there's a subtle click when the rail is in place. The case is secured to the mount through the center lever on the mounting bracket. To remove the case, you need to lift the lever up and pull, and from our experience and my fingers will show you that the rail system does require a bit of effort to remove. For the two mounts that we do have, the mounting bracket is attached to the base using this kind of bolt. It's about a quarter inch in diameter. It's fairly menacing and definitely looks a little tougher than the screws used for the GoPro accessories. The bolt is square right beneath the head and that fits into the square side of the mounting base. The bolt is held in place by this covered cap. That's the case for both this regular mounting as well as the chest harness. One of the, one of the best part about Optrix's mounting system is that you get a lot of feedback when you're adjusting the uh, angle of your phone. So, you unloose the cap a little bit and then you can just, there's these angular teeth and so you're able to just kind of minutely adjust the angle. Whereas in a lot of the GoPro accessories you unscrew it and it's gonna do this. With the Optrix X-D5, that's not the case. You can do some really minor adjustments to it, which is really nice. So if this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. We're all about helping you guys get the most out of iOS. So we do product reviews, tips and tricks, as well as news. We post contents two to three times a week and sometimes even more, you lucky ducks. So do click subscribe, I promise that you will not be disappointed. So the chest harness that Optrix gave us to review, well, looks like this on the back, looks like such. Now, to take the chest harness off, you've got these things on the side that you kind of clip off and that's how you, you know, install the chest harness on your chest. It's not a overtly clumsy system, but it is still a little awkward to have to deal with these uh, clips, but it gets the job done. With this entire setup, you can definitely record yourself doing dishes or chopping vegetables. More realistically, you can attach this to somebody doing some climbing of some sort, doing a winter bear hunting expedition. I did take a similar setup and went swimming with it, and it was kind of nice having to be able to use my hands and swim while not worrying about losing my phone in the ocean. So my viewers who are a little more extreme, what would you guys use this entire setup for? Leave in the comment section below, I'd like to know. Now if you look closely between the GoPro mounting systems and the Optrix mounting systems, you'll see that they are very different. And unless you're incredibly handy or incredibly smart or you own a 3D printer, it's gonna be very difficult to adapt your GoPro accessories with the X-T5, which is kind of a shame. Now you might be wondering, what kind of accessories can you get for the Optrix X-T5? Well, on their website, they've got lots of different accessories. They've got you covered. Now the custom mounts made by Optrix might seem to be a cash grab given that there's already an entire lineup of accessories that are meant for GoPro. Now with the Hitcase Pro, you can easily mount it to any sort of GoPro accessory, which is very, very nice. Now with the iPhone action camera though, it is much heavier than the GoPro. In order to keep everything very stable, you end up really tightening the screws on the GoPro. Now, there's only one extension coming off this plate. I've gone up to two, I think maybe three with the Hit Case Pro, and I've had to really turn the screws very, very tightly. And so 
then it becomes stable, but then it takes a lot of effort to undo them. Generally, that's because the iPhone action camera is just a little too heavy for the uh, mounting system for the GoPro. It's still very, very usable, but that's the only reason why I would think that Optrix would want to do their own. Now with the Optrix mounting system, all the plastic's a little thicker. It's, it looks a little more heavy duty. The bolt especially looks much more heavy duty than the GoPro screws. But the best part I've already mentioned is the tactile feedback when you uh, adjust the case. It just kind of bends, it clicks into place, which is really, really nice. The heavy duty parts, as well as the clicking into place, uh, means that the Optrix XT5 really isn't going anywhere. So it doesn't take a lot of effort to adjust um, your entire setup. And that's something to think about when you're out and about and you're doing something pretty extreme is that if you need the right camera angle, well, you don't really want to be having to really over torque or over twist one of the GoPro screws. You just want to be able to just kind of touch it. Oh, look, this is where I want it. Ta da! So what do you guys think about the Optrix XT5 and the mounting system? This is a pretty cool case. What do you guys think about the chest harness? It, there's like a plastic thing here. It looks like I'm wearing like a bulletproof vest that will only protect my sternum. <laughs> Again, what do you guys think? Leave them in the comments section below. Um, I'm Aaron the Ho. I'm one of the hosts of Mobile Reviews A.ca. Find us on Twitter, Google Plus, as well as Facebook. Again, thank you Optrix for sending us this chest harness. We're going to have a bit of fun with it. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.